Okay, so as far as um, changing other stuff goes, you first you take all the screws, you unscrew the screws, you lift off the panel. I recommend grabbing it from here and grabbing on to the little plastic things that are uh, covering up this heatsink, and you can just pull it up and it'll um, you know lift off a little easier. But once you get in here, you have uh, you can access everything you need to. You got the two NVMe drives here and here. Um, you just unscrew this screw right here in the center, and then you can lift it off and replace it. As far as RAM goes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, push push on this little tab here you push over and then it's gonna pop up you can take it out if you need to but when you want to install it when you want to install it you just go in here you push in you push in while pushing down and then it snaps into place and then um, you just make sure it's even and all the pins look like you know they're not you know cockeyed or anything um, as far as installing this drive goes it comes with this little grommet you fit the grommet around um, the, the the hard drive or the SSD or hard drive and what you want to do is you want to make sure that this little grommet sits where the little it the grommet will go down in these little divots in the plastic and you want to make sure that these divots are at the top of your SSD where the cord will be going over the top and it's already pre-folded so it folds and goes straight over to here to put this in um, you're probably going to want to um, Put, put this little cable in first and then install the hard drive. Um, when you do it, there's a little tiny lever that you're gonna flip up here. I'm gonna flip it up now. So you flip up that little lever, you, you um, stick it in and push down. And then while, while it's pushed, stuck in and pushed down, you just flip this lever down and then it's in. And then um, I would give it a, you know, a nice little you know, pull just to make sure it's in there properly. But that's how you do that. Um, that's how you change, you know, the NVMe, the NVMe's, uh, NVMe SSDs. That's how you change the RAM. That's how you change the, um, SSD slash hard drive slot. Um, there's also another stick of RAM up here. Same process to change it out. Uh, they just covered it with plastic there for protection. And, um, yeah, so that's basically it as far as, um, changing out goes. You can see all the, you know, I guess that's, uh, the, the, ether, the, the headphone jack, the two USB, uh, 3.1, the Ethernet port, the power cord. Um, over here, you got the USB C. Come on, focus. USB C, USB 3.1. Um, you got the mini display port and the HDMI. And yeah, so you got, you got these insane metal fans. They're, you know, really good, seemingly enough. Um, but one blows out here, one blows out here. So, but I'm, and here's, here's, I'm assuming this is the um, CPU or GPU here. Probably right here. I don't know. I, I have no clue where the CPU and GPU are on this board. Um, I haven't really looked into it. But yeah, if you want to disconnect the power, um, the power is right here. So yeah, here we go. That's how you do that. And then obviously to, um, you know, you just pop the uh, pop it back on. Make sure it's lined up before you push down. It'll sit nice down in there. You give it a nice thing and it'll uh, make a click, I think. Nice little pop slash click, and then you just go about your way, um, you know, screwing in the screws. Um, when you screw in the screws, it's generally a good practice to go backwards and get it in the groove first so you don't strip and cross thread um, the screws and the um, screw holes. But yeah, so you just go through the process of... Uh, Oh, this one's not touching, is it? Nope, it wasn't touching. That's why I didn't want to screw in very well. You've got to make sure you get all of them screwed in nice and tight. One in the center here. Get the one over here. Oh, this one's not. There we go. Same. So you guys just got to make sure they're all down and they all screw in nice and tight or else it might cause problems. And last but not least, that screw. And then once you're done with that, you can, um, hold on, you can flip over the laptop, open it up, press that power button, and voila, you got your um, Acer Predator Helios 300 laptop. Now with your new hard drive, RAM, NVMe, SSD, whatever you want installed on it, but then you just uh, enter your password, 
that's not the right password apparently. And once you enter your password correctly, you get into your computer and voila, if we go ahead and go to um, Explorer, File Explorer, we can see here that still, hopefully, <laughs> we can still see the, um, cough. We can still see the drive E right here. One terabyte SSD that's been installed in there for a little while. Um, and then you got the 256 56 gigabyte NVMe SSD with a little bit of system reserved and um, mostly full hard drive. So there you go. That's how you change out the um, hard drive, RAM, NVMe SSDs, and etc. And um, we will put this computer to sleep just like that.